You know what's amazing? When you put a solar panel in the shadow of your rocket ship. All right, everybody, Baron here. The Empire. The Kingdom of Toast. What was once a kingdom is now an empire. And what is now an empire is going to space. Welcome to Surviving Mars, where you guessed it. Mars? Mars is gonna be survived. And then Mars is gonna be thrived. We're gonna build America on the moon. And by the moon, I mean Mars. All right, let's press a new game. I was tempted to press easy start. I ain't gonna lie. I was tempted. But now I gotta do some things. International Mars Mission is the sponsor. Starting rockets of five. I don't know what that means. Funding of $30 million. Colonists never get Earth sick. Food supply from passenger rockets increased by 10. The patron country organization standing behind the Mars mission grants funding, research, and other benefits to the colony. Oh man, these are all the different companies and countries. Church of the New Ark, oh man. We could send a religious cult to the moon, or to the, why am I saying the moon? This is Mars. Oh my God, Russia's the hardest. Look at it, this is in order of easiness. So International Mars mission being the easiest, basically that guy over at Tesla. Then we've got USA as the next easiest. Then Blue Sun Corporation, 10 million, 8 million. Wow, 30 million, I don't know if I can turn that down. We're doing the International Mars mission. Now, who do I want to be? An inventor, fuel production increased by 25%. Arcology unlocks a residential spire. A hydro engineer, a doctor, psychologist, politician, futurist. Breakthrough techs are researched 30% faster. And autonomous sensors. Sensor towers no longer require power. I've got to say I'm a futurist. I see the future. I've seen it. The colony logo. We're definitely going to be... Don't panic! Because that's probably going to be... The motto. Select an active storyline. We're gonna keep it a mystery. All right, if it says this is good, we're going for it. Select a landing spot. We can go to Samaria Alpha. And is this Samaria Beta? Arabia Terra. Ooh. Margaritifer Alpha. Xanthi Alpha. Marineris. Marinara sauce. I do love me some marinara sauce. Dust devils, dust storms, meteors, and cold waves. Oh, this one's pretty good. It, oh, Elysium beta? Oh, man. Oh, wow. We've got a high chance for meteors, but we've got pretty good resources. I'm tempted. All right, we're going to Margaritifer. Welcome to Mars. It's good to be here, Mr. Robot Man talking to me, wherever you are. All right, welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo, aka toast and jam. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. My lord. Because this is a kingdom. How many sectors do I have? We're currently scanning that one. That's scanning at a 1% rate? Oh wow, that's gonna take forever. We're landing! Oh, welcome to Mars! So there's materials there. Oh, ho, ho, look at that baby. Touching down vertically, just like the SpaceX program that uh, Elon Musk and Tesla. I guess it's not Tesla, it's just. Ooh. We've got a rover thing, Pan WASD, and we've got another rover thing. This one looks like a vacuum cleaner. These ones look like. I don't know. Oh my god, we got baby rovers! Oh, it's gorgeous! What are the- what are the little babies doing? We are scanning dirt. We like dirt. Touchdown. We have scored a hat trick. What? Alright, it's telling me... Build a solar panel. We're gonna build it right here. Build me a solar panel, little nanite drone things. We're not nanites, we're just small drones. You're big. Zoom in. All right, fine. Ah, I think they're getting 
the metals, and then they're gonna build me this solar panel. Look at these guys, man. Oh my god, look at them! Look at them, they got little eyeballs! Oh, they were stacked on each other, which is unfortunate. Oh yes, my little drone minions. Look at these guys, man. We are carrying iron using maglev stuff. Can you build it? We've only got two. Well, that's three metal. So they've got to collect one a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, here's our solar panel. Ta-da! Whoa, what you turning? Oh, we need to find the sun. Okay. All right. So there's this stuff. Suggested building concrete extractor. Fantastic. Where is a concrete extractor? Now, do I build it on top of it? I think here is pretty good. Maximizes it and leaves some more open if we wanted to produce another one. There we go. We've got to connect it to power, right? Let's build another thing. Hey, I'm gonna build another thing. I'm gonna build a large solar panel over here to power it. We got the drones. Let's put these bad boys to work. All right, so this is a generator. This is a power accumulator. We're gonna accumulate power here. And then we're gonna, con what's this? Oh yeah, we need to connect it. All right, fine. I've got two solar panels going up. I mean, clearly I know exactly what I'm doing. Select detector research. I would like to research engineering. Low G high rise engineering, actually biotech. Moisture vapor upgrade, mm, new building apartments. We're gonna need that, let's do it. Perfect, outsource. In exchange for 200 million funding, outsourced researchers will contribute 1,000 in the next five souls. I don't have a 200 million dollars. So yeah, how do you get 200 million freaking dollars? Send back Mars gold? Send back a bucket load of bitcoins? I'm gonna mine bitcoins on Mars, guys. We're gonna do it like that guy in New York did with the Chuck E. Cheese coins. But don't tell anybody back home. Now they're gonna plug this bad boy into it and we're gonna be producing concrete. Now I wanna know when those little green alien guys arrive. Cause when they do, maybe I could put in an Uber Eats order? I'm gonna order like... Chili cheese dogs. That'd be pretty good. I mean, I'm just assuming if they're gonna come over and say hi to my rocket ship... We're not gonna panic! And instead, we're gonna- we're gonna ask him to, you know, make me some, uh... Chili cheese dogs. Alright, so I've got it sped up here. Now we gotta build this thing. And then it'll be connected to the power. This is an a, a power accumula a accumulator. We build a depot. Why aren't you building this? Oh, we need concrete. Classic. <laughs> Alright, not a problem. We can fix this. Look at this, man. So we built this universal depot. What? A meteor just struck the Earth. The, the Mars. The Mars, not the Earth. I know what I'm doing. Alright, we're still scanning Sector G2. Hola, senor. Necesito mas ayuda in G2. Which is how far from... Well, well, calm down. We will find more. Now, what is we? Here we go. What does this thing do? All right. So this one is a mobile base for drones. It can be relocated by move interact button. Okay. RC Explorer can analyze anomalies found on the surface of Mars. Orders are given with the buttons in the info panel. Info thing. I'm gonna set him over in this unknown territory. Maybe. It's not too far away. What's that? Oh, that's the meteor, right? This is the meteor! Oh, there we go! Our concrete is up and running. Now, as far as that is going... Once that's up and running, we'll be able to build this power accumula accumulator. What? Bring me the iron. Maybe if we put this depot closer to it... But then they'd just have to transport it from here to elsewhere. But look at this! We built ourselves a uh, drone hub, or rather we are in the process, and it is now completed. And it is powered, since I put it right on this power line. So... Oh man, that gave me more drones. What is... Drones are automated workers. They gather resources. Okay. Why does he have a giant diamond thing above his head? Alright, I've got this thing called a, a orbital drone. Orbital probe. Buildable area, 97%. Ooh, this is a 100% buildable area. Milestone achieved. Yeah, we got water. Alright, I'm also gonna do this one because I think this was 
It's 97. That's pretty good. Build where? Ooh, medals. They've got 26 medals in there. 77 medals and 11,000 water. This is awesome. This whole discovery aspect geeks me out, man. Buildable area, high chance for metals and concrete, metals and concrete, metals, concrete metals, metals. That's just buildable area. We'll do this one. Ooh, more metal, more concrete, more water. So that's actually probably the best one to do. We could do a mobile base, maybe? I'm not sure how to do that just yet. The camera controls are a little not ideal. I wonder if I can change that in the options, though. All right, we're gonna build a dumping site. Now I want this, what, far from stuff? Overlaps deposit, all right. Yeah, do I wanna put it over here? I don't know. We'll do that. We'll build it, oh, it's just a dumping site. It's literally just like, throw it over there. Okay. I really wanna get over to sector E3 because it's got good concrete. Pretty good water. Actually, it's got the best metals and the second best water. We've got no water. I'm presuming, yeah. Oh, wait. There's some kind of a... What's this? Anomaly! Detect anomaly. Must find the anomaly. This is the transport. This is the rover. Oh, where's our little scouty McScouty? There he is. And he's right near... Let's go to whatever this is. Oh, it's a, a scientific anomaly. All right, so we'll send him there. This is very interesting. This is the closest deposit of water to our main base. So, here we go, what happens now? Ooh. We're detecting anomaly readings at this location. An RC Explorer vehicle can analyze this anomaly and do some Jedi crystalline uh, telegraphic photon stuff. It's science. I'm not a scientist, I'm a futurist. Found water on Mars. Ah, there we go. It, it, so it takes time. Okay, while well, that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and find... I want a water extractor. Let's go to life support then. Moisture evaporator. We need two gears to do that. All right, I think we need a resupply. We're calling in reinforcements. We're opening the resupply. Um, cargo capacity, a cargo rocket. And I think we want prefab buildings. Oh, those are millions of dollars. All right, so we've reset, or we're about to finish this. Anomaly, oh, we gained 1500 science. All right, we're gonna research more drones. That seems to be pretty good right now. I guess we could always outsource things. All right, his battery's decent. All right, we're gonna build a sensor tower. We're gonna put him over here, and presumably he helps us scan the area. So do we have any? Do we have any electronics? Yeah, we've got a few electronics right here. I'm assuming these green bad boys are electronics. So advanced resources, we do have 10 electronics, 13 machine parts, 13 polymers. No fuel, but we do have metals and concrete. What do you mean? Oh yeah, we, it's not powered. At night, we lose power. Maybe a wind turbine would be good. So I'm sending my drone guy over here. The RC Rover is a remote-controlled vehicle that transports commands and repairs drones. So I'm hoping maybe... Now we can, what, power the drones over here? Oh look! He's got little baby drones! Oh, that's so cool! Sector scanned! Alright, get these metals, because I think to do this thing... We need two machine parts, huh? Alright, well maybe this guy can move machine parts. Let's get two machine parts. How many are you gonna grab? Not all of them, I hope. Alright, he's got... Alright, we're gonna send this guy over here. This is the scout dude, right? Mr. Scout Man. I wanna see what's over here. This thing's pumping. This thing's definitely connected. There's just... I think we need a different power supply. Alright, this costs four concrete and one machine parts. Wait! Discovery Boy! 
Discover this anomaly. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. Now, can we build this? Wait, what happens now? There's two of them moving in. If he's got the resources, will they construct this? Oh, we don't have any concrete, do we? Do they take it? Oh, <gasps> they take the stuff! We should have grabbed concrete. I should have realized this. We don't have any concrete in this area. So this is got... Oh my god, this is cool. Okay, I've got it figured out. Kinda. There we go, we got a wind turbine just popping out too. So we should be able to get a lot of power now. Now how do I make sure this thing's charging? Is it going up? Yeah, it is! Excellent! Okay, hold on. Alright, little daddy. Now we want... Concrete, right? Oh man, I brought the wrong one. We've got this guy discovering this. The scan is in progress. It seems like it's almost done. I accidentally, instead of bringing the transport, I brought the drone control one. So, mister, I know what I'm doing. Priority set. Ha! They just passed each other on their epic voyages. And now we've got this anomaly. The explorer made a thorough scan of the anomaly site, but couldn't find anything oh. unusual. What? Or were they? Oh, uh, they were. All right, they were. All right, Mr. Explorer Man, you're at 50%. Should be able to get there. All right, get that concrete, buddy. Oh, this thing's cool, okay. So that seems to be, now what do we want to do over here? What do we have a lot of? I guess we're producing concrete. Now we're gonna head you back over here. Okay. So we're producing concrete, we want more metals, but I guess we have some metals in the area. The meteor did drop more. We could get m what is- Oh, that's my waste set. I was like, what is that? What are those turd nuggets over there? Look at this thing's recharging. Our discovery drone is recharging. And this guy is almost back. Oh, he's navigating through it. Let's go ahead and speed you up, and build me that water extractor. Nice. So he's got ten things of concrete on him, and we only need six here, so we will have four extra. Come on. Now we're gonna have to power this somehow. Oh, we'll probably need metals, won't we? We've got all the metals we want. What is that? Oh, they were storing them. Okay. Fair enough. Construction's in progress. Let's expedite this. We want to get our water production because we know if we're going to survive in space. What is this? We need sufficient power. Must be connected to a power thing. Well, let's give it some power. I'm thinking it generates 0.5. And it uses concrete, and we've got extra concrete. Well, that is fortuitous. I totally planned that. All right, where do we want to put this in between? There's no other real discoveries except maybe this metal over here, so... And then we... Do we need to connect you to power cables? Yeah, that should power them both. Oh, we need a machine part? Alright, there we go. Finally! I just decided to bring back tons of stuff this time. So we should have all resources we need. Now this is going to what? Now how do I get the power? Okay, what's this mean? Oh, it probably needs pipes, huh? Sector Aha! Scanned. Select a sector to scan. F4 to go oh, sector F4 scan. Okay, I thought I thought it say control alt F4. All right, so let's scan this one to connect our empire here. But we've got this area over here, and we got our sensor now. Boost scanning speed, especially for nearby sector, and extends the advanced warning of disasters. All right, so the RC Explorer is charged up. Let's go ahead and send him on this mission. To go where no other drone has gone before yet. Now, ultimately, I would love to... ...basically allow for myself to connect these without having to use... So I need drone coverage, right? So let's go to a drone hub. You need prefab parts for this, okay. Alright, so what I'm doing is having them build this long cable. I don't think this is gonna work, but you know what? I don't know what else to do, really in order to get coverage over there. It's not like I can take this thing off, right? Launch. Oh, we don't want to we don't want to return to Earth and we don't want to salvage it either, do we? A sulfur rich regolith. Very fascinating stuff. Well, what are we going to do about it? The way our scientists were reacting, huh? Concentrate our effort on gathering as many samples as possible 
or focus on geo uh, geochemical an analysis of the sulfide-rich samples. Engineering research bonus, 10%. Let's no do that one. Research. Research complete. All right, let's go to the research, and we'll complete this with these guys. Follow daddy. Follow daddy. Ooh, 25% faster. Yeah. All right, we've completed it. Now get back over there and operate that thing. All right, we've scanned another sector. Let's go ahead and uh, scan this one above us. A lot of not very good resources, man. We're kind of spread out. Maybe I should... I don't know, but this is the water production right now. And I need to send for prefabs? Let's go ahead and launch a resupply mission. I know I need prefabs, right? So... I don't know. Capacity of 70,000 kilos. Funding of 26 billion. Um, available rockets, 3 out of 4. I know I want these bad boys. I want a drone hub. Let's get two of those. Let's get all the goodies, man. Do we want another RC rover? Yeah. Wow, that's 300 million dollars. Or do we want a transport? Do we want the explorer? Alright, we're sending it. We're launching. Now, I don't know where he's supposed to land. Maybe I could have him land over here. If I could have him land near this... That'd be pretty cool. Now, where am I supposed to build my biodome? Welcome to the biodome. Welcome to the future. Oh, look at this. Perseverance, number one. Cargo rocket. Traveling to Mars. Flight progress, 16%. Look at our payload. It may be a new payload, but I tell you what, guys. If you want to see more and you're a veteran at this, feel free to leave some tips, man. I'm more than willing to, to hear it and get good. I want to get good, get, get real good on Mars. We're going to make Mars America. I'm just kidding, but I, I do like that accent. All right, so I've decided to make a lot more turbines. My thought is, you know, more power the better. More power to you. Now... I don't know where to put these. I think you have to explore that stuff. Oh, speaking of exploring, how's your battery, little droney robot guy? We'll send you back to recharge, because eventually we're gonna scout this out, and there may be an anomaly that we want to check out to further the development of Skynet on Mars. After conquering all the people on planet Earth and forcing them into indentured servitude forever, ad infinitum, We've decided to colonize Mars and then send the humans there to get more resources, to build more T-1000s. Yo. Ooh. No, there's no things there. All right, I want to scan this one. All right, I'm going to use my orbital probe here. Concrete and metals. I'm actually curious about this one. Oh, <gasps> ooh. Okay, this is gonna be a good spot, I think. I'm gonna try to land my rocket right here. So that I've got concrete, water, middle, minerals, and an anomaly to discover. So once my drone is charged up, where you at, Big Daddy? I'm charging my batteries, I'm a robot. Charge that battery, big dog. All right, let's go discover this anomaly way out here. This is gonna be quite the, whoop, autosave. Quite the adventure. All right, search the anomaly. We are doing our best to kind of get a feel for what I'm thinking. I'm not sure how resupply works. I think it's a totally different rocket. I think it's another one of these guys. So we've just got to land here and we got plenty of metals around it. Here we go. Oh, that is okay. All right, so we've got to try to see if I can't encapsulate everything. I want the minerals and more concrete if possible. Here we go, we can alter, we can rotate them that way. All right, we're calling it down. We're discovering this thing. Let's see you come in, Big Daddy. Land me a rocket on Mars. We are bringing in reinforcements from the Toast Empire using our time machines provided to us by Skynet. We're sending men from Toastopia to Mars. And by men, I mean robots. Oh, there it is. You can see the shadow. Here it is. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that. Ooh, we got touchdown. Well, not yet. 
We're about to have a touchdown. Don't panic, guys! The rocket is landing fine. And boom. Now open the door and let the little green men, I mean the robots out. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. Now we gotta do stuff. It's time to produce. Let's go with a uh, large solar panel. We've got plenty of metals and concrete and polymers, electronics, and machine parts. So we can produce a decent amount of stuff. There's gonna be water here. All right, he naturally produces. You know what? I shouldn't have put the drone controller so close. Cause it's a, there's an overlap. I'm realizing this now. Whoa. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Neil deGrasse Tyson. What a legend. All right, let's go with, uh, Transport optimization. Sounds good to me. All right, so now that we have over here, we can get concrete production up and running after we get that. Let's go ahead and maybe get a drone controller? But that's another one of those things I was just talking about. Maybe I... Maybe I build a... Oh, it's... Wow. The drone controller's way over there. Hmm. I'm gonna send the transport, I think. Where do we want to scan? Here. And then there, right after it. Alright, so we have a drone controller, but still, this is the thing. This acts as a drone controller. Commands nearby drones. Contaminates nearby buildings with dust when landing and taking off. Requires fuel for the return trip to Earth. Well, I'm sorry, Elon Musk. You ain't getting your SpaceX. AKA, don't panic X back. Alright, so now we're gonna power this thing. Or we gotta power something with it. I'm gonna get a concrete generator up. You know what's amazing? When you put a solar panel in the shadow of your rocket ship! Building's not working, one. I wonder which one it is. Storage space is full. Oh, you need a, another one of these? Alright guys, so I'm gonna need your help because this is the situation. We've gotten our first rocket ship, the Liberty number one. We've set up a decent amount of power. I don't think you're supposed to connect these things because look at this. Help me figure this out. I can't... What? Oh, now I can. Yeah, see, they, they won't ever... They won't actually let me connect. So I'm like, is that... Did I mess it up? This is weird, right? To me it is. See, it, it won't let me. It'll get me one place. Not sure what that's about. So let me know about that. How do we connect this? How do we get this going? Because originally we got it for water, but maybe I should have done a lot more exploration before I decided to just build that random water plant. Because this seems to have more stuff going on. I've got this concrete plant. We're waiting for the uh, power to be done. Looks like, yeah, we're, we're low on concrete. And what do we need? Not enough power. Needs to be daytime, and then our rocket ship shadow is kind of blocking the solar panel. But anyway, guys, the Empire of Toast has made it to Mars. It's kind of rough right now, and we're definitely learning. We could always restart if need be. This is kind of a learning episode. But if you guys got pro tips, ideas, suggestions, leave them below. If you want to see more surviving Mars, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.